Welcome back to another Tech Talk. I'm Lonnie Vaughn with Emotiva Audio. And one of the big questions that we get is that why did we go to a switching power supply versus the transformers that we used to use? Because it kind of flies in the face of convention. But there was a lot of reasons why we did it. I want to go into some of the main reasons today and show you why a switching power supply is actually really beneficial to everybody all concerned. First off, this is the power supply that's in the new XPA amps. The Gen 3's that have been out for, I guess, year, year and a half now, maybe even two. It is a two and a half kilowatt power supply with dynamic peaks around three kilowatts, okay? Has a lot of energy. It's universal, so it works anywhere in the world. You just plug power into it and away it goes. You don't have to do anything special to it. And it's extremely intelligent. And as you'll see, it's extremely small. So you got two and a half kilowatts set that there so you can see it. So that's two and a half. That's what's in the new XPAs. Now our Gen 1 and our Gen 2's use transformers, which for the last hundred years is what everybody's used. And there's a misconception that if an amplifier weighs a hundred pounds that it's got to be better because it's got all the copper in it. But for anyone who knows our amps this is one of our Gen 1 XPA2s. Same thing with the Gen 2s, okay? Anyone who's ever heard the, the XPA2 knows this thing has got some major cojones. It's got so much power, okay? It uses a transformer. Let me show it to you. That is a transformer that was in the XPA2. That's a 1200 VA transformer. Now, how do you equate that to this? 1200 VA versus 2.5 kilowatts. If you wanted the same amount of energy that was in this, in your amplifier, you would need this, Jim. This, my friends, is the power supply that was in the XPR2. This is a two and a half kilowatt transformer. That transformer weighs about 50 pounds, maybe a little bit more, give or take. It's not a lightweight. So what do we got? Two and a half kilowatts, two and a half kilowatts. Aside from energy, these things produce, this one and this one, produce the same amount of power. Anyone who's ever listened to the XPA2 knows it's no slouch, but yet it only had a 1200 VA. So, we're able to give you an enormous amount of power from a very efficient system and weighs all of about two, maybe three pounds tops. Now, there's a lot of benefits to it. Think about it like this. A transformer runs off your wall, 50, 60 hertz, depending on where you are in the world. It had, because it's running at that low frequency, which is right in the audio band, okay, you have to have a ton of capacitors on the backside. The capacitors are what actually run the audio stage because the transformer can't deliver the energy fast enough to play frequencies above the power that's coming in. So for anything above 60 hertz, you need all the capacitor banks to drive the power amp stage itself. With this, this is actually running around a couple hundred kilohertz. So at 200,000 hertz, which is what it's operating at, our secondary capacitance is considerably smaller because the actual operating speed of the power supply is on a whole order of magnitude, five, six times more than the actual audio stage. Now, some people will argue that this is noisier than a transformer. And at its operating frequency, it is, but that's operating at 200 kilohertz, 200,000 hertz. We can only hear, children can only hear from 20 to 20,000 hertz, okay? So the noise that this produces is so far outside the audio band, it doesn't even show up. There's another benefit, being in an audio company, how it sounded was more important, okay, versus just power delivery, 
Although that is important, everybody needs power. And I wanna show you the real difference, the real reason for going to a switching power supply. Gen 1, XPA2. Gen 3, XPA2. Got to bring both these online. I got them tied into the audio precision, and I want to show you the noise floor. The thing about a transformer is the audio stage is only as clean as the power that's being given it, okay? All transformers produce 60 and 120 hertz noise. You can't get around it. The best you can do is try and filter it as much as possible to get rid of it. If you look at our audio precision here, what you're going to see is red and blue lines represent the two amplifiers that we're looking at. The red line is our XPA Gen 1. And you'll notice right at 60 hertz and 120, there's some massive peaks here. And those peaks mean that's the best signal to noise ratio you're going to get. Those peaks are 20 dB higher than the noise floor of the new Gen 3s using the switch mode power supply. So as you can see from an audio standpoint, we're able to give you far better audio performance and a better ground floor noise performance of the amplifier as well as more power by using a switch mode power supply versus a conventional transformer. And these principles and benefits carry over to all of our gear because we're switching everything over to switching power supplies. So what you see here is not only our big amps, but representative of all the gear as we move forward. So I hope that helps answer your questions about why did we go to a switching power supply? Why did we go against convention, you know, with the big honking transformers and everything? Bottom line, more power, a lot quieter, less noise, and better performance and efficiency. What else do you want? Well, that's it for today. Thanks for hanging around. We'll talk about some other stuff next time.